Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cave Gen Survival Series. So you might notice I've done a little bit of home decorating off camera. So all the floors done, we've got a little bit of mossy around, we got lapis behind the chest which I like. Uh, and this, this is a new goal someone sent me, is to make a block of every type. So we've already got the lapis obviously, then we got iron, gold, and diamond will go there and emerald will go there and I have enough diamonds but I want to save them in case I find a bit of leather and then I can make my enchanting table so I'm going to save that for now until I have an enchanted table and that I only need three more with so that's always always a good thing uh, let's see so today what I'm going to do is just a bit more exploring so I need to use my new crafting table I set up yeah, I just made a little simple block swapper while I was bored for my crafting table. Which I know is kind of silly since I was needing redstone for my spider. The spider farm, that still needs to be finished, that's what we're going looking for today. We're going looking for some new um redstone mostly, that's why I had to make another iron pick. Uh, the farm. The farm got blown up by a creeper while I was um, harvesting it all off camera, but I've moved all the stuff out here. Just so it's easier for me to find and all that. But for now, let's get some blocks on the bar. We're going to go off this sort of way, because we've been going off that way a lot, because it's the easiest way to go. I also moved these pressure plates back one as well, so it's a little less scary. Yeah, I've always been going off that way because it's the easiest way to go, obviously, because it's flat. But this time, hey, look, redstone. Let's go get that. We're going to head off this way and I'm just going to make a little stairway. I'll get that iron as well. Okay, let's get this iron then. So, um, today I am going to talk a little bit about uh, my channel because I've been thinking about and I thought of a few. Not changes, but just some sort of general guidelines I'm going to have for it. Where is it? There it is. So, obviously, if you've been following me for a while, you know I have um, a few series out at the moment. I have this one, of course, the Cave Gen Survival Series. I have no torches, which is not good. And I have no wood, so actually I'm going to have to go get some of that while I've noticed. But yeah, I've got the Cave Gen Survival Series. I've got my SMP adventures, which is my sort of more building oriented, so it's there. Yeah, building oriented. <laughs> Cannot speak. Doesn't help that I pretty much had to pull an all nighter last night. That was rough. But yeah, uh, we got SMP series. Then we got my Lefemir series, which is currently running. And the way that's working, let's just take this with us, is that. What I'm going to be doing is, at most, I'll ever be running three Minecraft series at once. And what those series will be, there'll be my SMP series, which is my going to be like my permanent sort of series. It'll always be there. That unless something happens to the server, but you know, that's not exactly something I'm accounting for. So that's going to be sort of the one that's always there. That will be my permanent series. And then I'll always have a long-term series running, which, as you can probably tell, at the moment is the Cave Gen series. So, saying that, obviously it's not a permanent thing. This this series will run its course. I'll complete all my goals that I want to complete and all that, and then it'll be over. Of course, we're still a long way from that, so don't worry about this series being cancelled or anything like that. But it's a, it's a long term one that will eventually have to come to an end. Just so you guys know. Ooh, ooh, ooh emerald. Okay, so that's out of the way. Next, uh, we also have my Lefemir one, which is going to be my sort of shorter Minecraft series. And when I say Lefemir is going to be short, I mean there will always be a sort of shorter uh, series slot there. So it will be for short adventure maps or small mod reviews, things like that. Things that won't take me too long. Maybe a couple of redstone tutorials or something, although I'm not the best at redstoning. I mean, if you want to see a recent redstone build, 
check out my uh, SP series with the sheep farm. That is probably one of the most complex things you'll ever see me build. I don't know, sometimes I try complex things, but other times I'm just like, yeah, effort, wait a minute. Ugh, sorry. I always put it on peaceful when I'm in my creative mode because obviously slimes everywhere and the flatlands and it's just a lot of hassle. So I'm actually climbing up for a while because um it's not much point being down on the ground exclusively anymore. Now that I've got everything I need from the shacks, I only need extra stuff from the dungeons. So getting up high will give me a better vantage point so I can keep an eye out for more dungeons as well as just get more materials. Redstone, awesome. Alright. Gold, we still need we still need gold because we still need to get our golden apple. I feel like I'm suddenly in the nether. I did find out that this mod, the way it's generated, is based off the nether terrain generation. Just it can if you look at it, it does look a bit similar, so uh it just doesn't have all the glowstone or anything like that. Of course. But um Hello Zumble. Taste fine diamond sword of wrath. Okay. Easy enough. So we're just gonna go oh, dark. Is my brightness down? Nope, full brightness. Uh I'm not sure if you can hear it, because um now I've closed my window, it's quite quiet, but I'm boiling now. There's uh some construction work going on next door, so I figured I'd keep the window closed at least for now. Hopefully that shouldn't you shouldn't hear it, because I know you... What's that? Just lava I'm expecting. This game seems darker, but it might just be because it's quite sunny outside. For once. For once in England. Oh, miss! No aimbot for you. Alright. So yeah, that's my um channel set when it comes to Minecraft. I'm going to have three series, a temporary, a long term, and my... Man, you are awesome! You just saved my life. And then shot me in the face. That was cool though, <laughs> just seeing that skeleton get shot out of nowhere. Uh, I mean the spider. But yeah, come here you. I've already taken a skeleton arrow to the face. I'm trying to avoid those mobs. I'm trying to get the high ground as well because um, it'll give me a good view so I can look down and look for any dungeons. Because I still want to find. I obviously need to find another one to get the lever, so. Crit! Crit! Oh, he had a lot of health. Crit! Oh. Ow. I just die. I'm worried about those creepers behind me near this diamond. Okay. Uh, how many more? We need two more emeralds still, I think. So we're going to keep our eye out for them, even though they are the rarest material. And yes, yes, I know. There is one right outside my house. That's staying there. Wait. Holy shit, that's awesome. Oh, please say you're a skeleton spawner. Please, 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 please. Ah! Frick, I actually jumped. Oh my god, it is, but there's no chest. Oh, come on. Can't not give me a chest. Ah. But, skeleton spawner, awesome on so many levels, because now I can make an easy experience farm. I will still finish my spider one because it's already started though, just so you can see sort of what the plan is for it. But this I can just make a simple drop trap, which is awesome. Let's grab the mossy while I'm here. i got to try and remember my way up to this place now. That's the one issue. Yeah, that's awesome. See, this why this why I'm not on the ground floor anymore. All the dungeons seem to be up higher. So I'm gonna grab this mossy. I need to do something with the mossy as well. I'm not sure what. Ah, oh, no, that's probably a while away. I was gonna say I could use it to build all the new stuff that's coming in 1.4. But that involves the mod having to be updated to 1.4, which might take a while. And I haven't actually seen the mod maker on the forums for a while, so. Hopefully the mod's still in development, because I like this mod a lot. It does offer a lot of possibilities. Hmm, thinking about it though. It means I would have to do the whole copy everything over with the edit again in a much larger area now I found spawners. 
I'm going to leave this up here and I'm going to need to try and find a way to mark this off. If I just build little dirt pillars along the way with um, torches on them, it should serve as like a marker for where I'm meant to go to get to it. So I'll put one up there and that should... what's that? It's a rendering bug. Boop. Okay, where do I come up? Okay, if I come up down there, I'll just build one more here. There we go. Now we should be able to find our way back to the dungeon quite easy with that. Alright, so we're back on the hunt for red slings. We've only actually got 14. So this is the issue. When they only spawn in one block, uh, it can be quite rare. I mean, on a normal Minecraft in a map, uh, you, it becomes a big chunk, so you always get loads at once. Need more torches. Need more coal as well. Right, coal. I'm going to have to start using charcoal again. Not that that's a really big worry. I do have a lot of it. Anything over there? Any dungeon? Oh my god. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, maybe dungeons are a lot more common suddenly at one point, uh, the version 1.2 in this mod. Because I remember when I was um, looking around at the 1.1, I could not find any to save my life. But oh my god, I found two in one episode. If it's a zombie spawner, that's another achievement done as well. So we have a, um, a goal to find one of each spawner. Which should be cool. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna have to eat soon. I know. Oh god, just die, just die, just die. Right, I'm getting low on food, but I need to eat this now. If that's a zombie spawner, another achievement done. I can't believe I found two in one episode. These are all right around my base. <laughs> I am very lucky today it seems, making up for the fact I've had to be stay up all night to sort out various real life rubbish. Ugh, did not enjoy that at all. But that's done. Two bits of gold as well. And it has a chest in it. Ah, oh, come on, give me leather. Ah, oh, it's a spider one. Okay, we're just gonna disable this one. I'm not gonna bother trapping it since I've already got one spider trap and it's causing me enough hassle. Seriously, there's a path right up to it. We got... Ooh, we got eggs! And... Yes! We got a bit of leather! Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do... Gather all the mossy. Then we're going to go enchant. Oh yes. We'll finally get the enchant on. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna bother making bookshelves <laughs> so I'm only gonna be able to get low level enchants because um, to make one bookshelf I'm gonna need three bits of leather and you saw how rare it is for me to find one this is my third dungeon I've only got one bit is my inventory full? it is okay let's just make those into torches sorted so grab this mossy because we like mossy and I don't want to have to come back up here I'm not a fan of spider spawners. <laughs> Cave spider ones are alright because they're smaller, they're easier to manipulate. But the big ones are just. Oh, they're awkward. The way they climb, the way they. Um, are t two by two and all that. And the fact they. kinda. they don't merge into one when they fall like others do. They just balance on top. So they are just generally annoying when it comes to making mob spawners. I haven't actually seen anyone, I mean I've tried to look, but if you look for cave, if you look for spider um, farms on YouTube, you'll only ever find cave spider ones because the regular ones are too much of a hassle I guess. So I could try and do a tutorial on how I do mine, because it would be a lot easier to show you in creative mode. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll whack it all up together. It's um. So it's not the greatest farm, but you know, gets the job done. Uh, let's get home. I need to get more food out as well. I'm gonna have to. Actually, there's so much wheat I got. I probably, I probably won't have to switch to melon for this episode. I don't like using melon 
on camera. I use it for a lot of my off-camera stuff. But I prefer using bread because it means I have to eat less in front of you guys. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go sort out our loot. In you go. All the ores. Okay. Yeah, we're we'll going to save the eggs for now. We'll find a good place to put them later. Okay. We've got some more mossy. Excellent. I have three bits of my inventory anyway. How did I miss them? Boop. And a boop. There we go. I'll do it. 24 bits spread. Right. Enchanting table time. So we need one of those. We get three reefs outside. Need two of these. And I think I might need to go get some obsidian. Yep. We need to go get some obsidian. So I can do that while getting the. What well, happened there? The free sugar cane. So let's quickly grow our bit of obsidian and then we'll be ready to make our enchanting table. Actually, I don't know where there's any lava nearby anymore. Did I copy? I did copy that over. So the one over here, which has obsidian in, I think, should still be here. It does. Good. Oh, now this is going to take a while. But yeah, what I'm going to do is just enchant my pick and sword first with the highest level I can get with a no a no bookshelf enhanced enchanting table but we're finally we're taking off achievements left right and center this episode I'll tell you that uh, let's just get rid of that just so I can get these last couple because I don't think I need obsidian for anything else at the moment well I will want me to make an ender chest but I still haven't actually properly been around the nether and the cave gen survival yet most partly because it's you know it's the never it's the same in this mod or not in this mod Hit four bits so we should have all the materials on us now awesome yay we're getting stuff done this uh it doesn't seem to be breaking at the moment which is good I'm not sure what makes it break it's something to do with when I log out and all that right so first we need book Book, obsidian, and the diamonds. Chanting table. Excellent. Uh, I'll just put it here for now. I'll probably make a special area for it later. So, let's enchant the sword. Ooh, we can get a level 8. Meh, I feel ripped off. Let's get uh, level 3 on the bow. Actually, let's get level 2 on the bow and level 3 on the pick. Power one and finish one. So you know nothing great, but obviously we are only level one-ish, so not much we can do. But that's awesome. I'm gonna keep that just uh, safe. Let's see. One, uh, two emeralds off. We need one more diamond, unfortunately. Let's see. We've still got quite a way to go for this because we needed over a stack of gold for the golden apple. Uh, ooh, ooh, I know what I can do. I know what I can probably get done this episode. I just want to get as many achievements done as I can. Now, if you can guess what I'm going to do, grats, good good for you. Alright, so let's head out here. Grab one of these. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing now, you... <laughs> And yeah, we have our own iron golem to patrol our farm. So we're getting lo we got loads done today. We found um, two new spawners. I'll probably visit that um, that skeleton one next episode to make a trap out of that because um, that'd just be awesome to have. Let's see. Uh, what else? Got some more iron and gold to smelt, but nothing in particular. Might have enough redstone to finish the spider trap as well. So tomorrow I might just, well not tomorrow, next time I might just be making up all those traps now I've got to at either end. Uh, I'm debating just making the skeleton one into a, a um, drowning trap rather than a drop trap for experience. And then have the spider one for experience. 
but I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see with that. Uh, I'll think about that while off camera. But even if I do make the skeleton one experience one, I'm still going to finish the spider one just so it's finished, just so it's all done. Where else did I need the plants somewhere? Oh, the eggs! Alright, I'm going to, for now, for now, for now, for now, I'm going to head down here just so we can see if we can get them the hatch. Uh, this is just a mini tree farm I started working on, but I can't. Getting wood. Oh, yeah, for some reason, uh, my skin's not broken this time. Minecraft just net seems to be down, so I couldn't log in, so no skin, and apparently no achievements, even though I'm using my regular generator thing. Right, so let's seal this off. I don't want them wandering out there. Come on. Ah, oh, no eggs. No eggs and bakey for us. Right, let's plant these then. So it's like we're going to have to keep looking for spawners in order to get animals. But we have had a very productive day, I think. Indeed we have. Have we got any leggings laying around? No, I've got loads of hats, but no leggings. Okay. So I'll see if I've got enough redstone. Uh, next time we work on the skeleton spawner at least. If I do have all the materials I require, I'll also do the spider, spider farm. What ore is that up there? Golden iron. <laughs> oh well. So uh, thanks for watching. We got a lot done today, which um, I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting this was done. I was just expecting a boring, um, a boring re resource gathering episode. So that's always nice. So as always, feel free to comment or like or anything, whatever you want. And I will see you all next time. Toodles.